we went from real estate to real estate. Real estate. We have a lot of storage space, but we have too much stuff. My favorite thing about this kitchen is being able to have multiple people in here cooking food and sharing stories. I would say you're never too young or old to make your dreams come true. Hi, this is Bradonia. Come on in and check out our 1985 Crown Super Coach. So, welcome to the inside of the car. This is the kitchen, the biggest kitchen I've ever had in the 40 years of multiple homes that we've had. We like to entertain, I love to cook. So, I wanted a big kitchen, lots of counter space, and lots of drawers for all of my gadgets. Um, it's got great flow, great function. Um, we just put a lot of thought into where everything is. So, we put in some quartz countertops in a job that BRCTV did and I really loved the look of it. Maintenance is easy and I really like the aesthetic in here. So, we went with such a big sink because we have grandchildren that we might want to wash or we have a small dog, but really because we got it at an outlet for a really good price. So, I don't like paying full price. So, I'm really on the lookout for any kind of big ticket items you know, we basically buy the sink and then we work around that. So, on this side is all of our utensils, dishes, you know, leftover storage. We have to kick out drawers, three on each side of the kitchen. So, we really maximized all of the storage and we thought a lot about all of the places that we could put my kitchen supplies. When we were looking for our refrigerator we wanted something with depth and we wanted an ice maker. It was like a wish list and we found this company that had this. So, we went ahead and stuck with brand name. We have the two burner induction, the convection oven and I grew up with gas and I thought the uh change was going to be hard but you prepare all of your food and your meals are made very quickly, very efficiently. I love, love this brand and I love the functionality of it. So when we installed the windows we realized we didn't really have a lot of room for the tops and we didn't want them to look like they were closed off. So, she built the shelf. Everything stays on the shelf while we're traveling and it's a great place to store things that I can access really quickly. It's really easy to get all of our coffee stuff. If you can get the storage open for you, you know, just put a little 2 inch lip on it and everything stays there. My favorite thing about this kitchen is being able to have multiple people in here cooking food and sharing stories. I was born, raised in Northern California. I grew up in Southern California and moved there. I met her, I met her in a Taco L driving my old 65 Mustang. It was really cute. Yeah, so was she. And we've been married for 37, kind of like hippies, younger nomads. We traveled a bit and once we got married of course we settled down, had kids and eventually the kids started moving out and we wanted to downsize. So we started looking into buses. I looked at Bluebirds, I looked at Thomas and then someone told me about Corona. And the next thing you know we found a Corona, we didn't buy. Here we are and it's been almost 4 years now. It took me 3 years of weekends and a little bit here and there. And then once we sold the house I just took the plunge. In the meantime we bought another bus. We have Bloober Wonder Lodge that we live in while we were doing this and that's like our second home. So we went from real estate to real estate. Real estate. When we built the bus we divided it into living room, kitchen, bathroom and bedroom like any other normal house and we wanted a decent sized living space. We made the bathroom a little bit small and the bedroom a little bit small because this is the area we always spend our time in. I made this space so that someone can sit here and have dinner here. Uh, with the table that I made we can have 4 or 5 people here, 3 people there, another person or 2 in chairs, another person or two there in chairs and we can have a big group in here. People cook in the kitchen and it's just great, you know? Uh, it just turns into a big party. We probably had, I don't know, there were 10 or 12 people in here the other night, a guitar over here, a guitar over there, someone playing guitar. It was just I love all of this. And the sound in here is good too. I love the sound in here. So, the table unfolds, there comes a pivot point on each side where everything unfolds and then the top folds down making a nice big table. 
It's a double folding table. So, and all of that stuff stores behind it. That's all in there. That table really works really well in this space and it feeds and makes a lot of people happy at the same time. One of the cool things about the living room is the sofa area. This sofa unfolds and it becomes a full-size bed. There are four 500 air sliders under here and more storage underneath. Behind the couch, like the entire interior of the bus, we have sleeper shades that go up and down. So these things are great. All the mechanisms are up there and inside a pocket in that shelf all the drop ceilings that you see through the bus are all walnut veneer with walnut trim. I have a dual zone mini split and this is the front area of the mini split. Everything you see has little silver buttons on it. All these little silver buttons come off and there are screws behind them. So these panels can be removed, taken off, I can access my Freon lines, electrical lines, add and subtract whatever I want. All those Freon lines go down through a wall in the bathroom and out the bottom of the bus and down channels on both sides of the bus. On both sides of the bus I have electrical chases, so I can feed new electricity in front, back, from the trunk into the cab on both sides or into this box if I so choose. All the ribbing you see up here no, they actually cover the rivet holes, from the original metal of the roof. I removed the original metal from the entire bus, framed it all out, installed the electrical spray foam, and then reinstalled the old metal on the ribbing. I love Estes, I like being able to see everything, grab stuff. People come up here and ask, hey, what's that, what's that, quote, grab it. It's great to have stuff accessible and people see. This is the hallway that serves two purposes. Oris is our laundry room and this is a washer and dryer combo unit. It's great when you're plugged in, kind of inefficient for water. If you're boundocking or something, you know, if you had a water source while you were in the desert, est, we'd probably have enough solar power to keep us going. This is a pull-out pantry and it holds a ton of goodies. A gear is and another pull-out pantry and a storage shelf for bathroom items and then more space to store food. The closet door actually matches like our bedroom door. So we can open that and close it. There's a stopper up here and a magnet here. So the thing just reaches up to the top and gives us privacy in the back. The closet is Donna's. I have the front closet because I don't have robes or anything tall. So these are all her dresses. We have plenty of storage space, but we have too much stuff and we got something. We have to take out two things. We're downsizing slowly, but surely. It's really hard to get over, you know, getting rid of all your stuff, because ours is stuff and other people's stuff is something else. So, this is the bathroom. Yeah, we've put a lot of thought into the bathroom because it's such a small space. You want to do what's most comfortable for us. Making a shower that had enough room for both of us, you know, is great. We have a height adjustable shower head and we can move it up and down or take it off or it's pretty efficient. All the tile that you see is a simulated porcelain wood tile and then all the corners and the waterproofing behind it is done by Lutoder. Our sink is a carved granite sink. Oh, it's the vanity itself used to be a floating shelf in our house that my son and I made and he helped me a lot in the construction. The resin pour and the black walnut vanity. Where it's it's very good. Everybody loves that. We could probably spend a couple weeks showering and washing dishes with the water supply that we have on the bus. There's two water tanks under the bed, two 55 gallon water tanks under the bed, so I've got 110 gallons of fresh water capacity. On this side of the bathroom we have storage space down here for you know extra toilet paper and toiletries and stuff. We do have a nature head bathroom. I actually made a filter out of a mask that's for vapors, for natural vapors, so instead of making another hole in my bus, I just put that mask filter in there. I change it once every time I change what would be the compost bin. It cost me a few bucks, but it works great. I mean, everyone says they don't smell anything in here. 
And then on this side, this whole wall can be removed right here. So I can access my front lines, go through this wall, go around that corner, and go up to the roof. So again, built in the ability to add anything I want to the search from this area and from the search below or free online access if I have a problem with something. One piece of advice for anyone who wants to live like this is to just enjoy having less. Don't worry about all the little things that don't really bring you happiness, you know, just go out and live. This community is very open and gives information. So, reach out, talk to people, tell them what you want, you know, form a little network of people that can help you with that, and there are so many people here. I'm amazed every day by how people we meet are. The community. The community. I would say you're never too young or too old to make your dreams come true. Yeah. Whether you're a tiny house on wheels or just a regular tiny house that sits somewhere, I think going small is really, you know, the new big, because the less you have, the more you have in so many ways. Uh, you know, your stuff doesn't belong to you, you own your stuff. So, here it is in our master suite or the bedroom. Like most of the rest of the bus, I've tried to make it feel like a yacht. It's like I incorporated the drafty feel into this one with the aluminum. We love this area, I mean, it's in cozy. We have air conditioning in the back that works really well. I mean, we can come out of here grilling or chilling with this baby. Uh, so, the bed is actually a bed, who's cutting? We're kind of short people, we're not too tall, so it suits us and it's the size of an RV, so it's a little bit narrower which gives us room to be able to be on the side of the bed. Gid, we both have access to the bed, you don't have to climb on each other and all that, and that was one of the things we really wanted to do with this sleeper. Plus we have the nightstand on each side. We both have our own drawers on this side. We both have outlets and controls for our diesel heaters. Right here. Here the diesel heaters at the base of the chamber. And then under the bed there are two 55-gallon water tanks, one each. In the middle of the bed, under the bed, there's a marine water heater, all electric and our diesel heater which again comes out the front of the bed. The window back here we can open. Right now it's the river back there, but if it was the ocean we could open that window and just stick our head out. And there's the ocean. We have the back door here if we want to open it up and get all kinds of air in. Someday I might try to incorporate some stairs to get out that door, but for now it's more of an emergency exit and it lets fresh air in. Here we have my 1985 Crown Super Coach. It used to be a bus so I gave it a 14-inch roof raise. All new windows for creative vehicles. I rebuilt the door so it only opens outward. I incorporated some new stripes to make it look a little less like a school bus and put these panels on it. I put these blinders on it, they're from a 1980 La France fire truck. I thought they were really cool. Other than that, I haven't touched the outside of the bus. All the bodywork you see all this sanding and stuff was done by the previous owner. That's how I bought the bus. So here behind the bus we tow our jeep with the roadmaster. Pretty good setup, hooks up really quick. And inside the trunk we have all the stuff here, pretty much everything in the trunk. Victor, there's a lot of blue here. I've got about 2600 watts of solar on the roof. I've got 624 volts batteries, so 100 amp. So, that would be like 12 combat batteries to somebody else. I've got an auto transformer, so I've got 240 all over the bus. That's what runs my stove, my furnace, and my AC unit. So, all of them are very efficient because they run at 240. It was a little bit inefficient because I have to transform my 120 to 240 through this, but that's how I do it. This is the box in the house that runs to all the currents and I have a separate breaker for almost everything in the bus. Uh, back here I've got almost everything I need to keep going. You know, in weather like if I get cloudy for 3 CUC days I'm sure I need to run a generator.
Since we sold the house we've changed direction in our work. So instead of being a general contractor, we're now in the bus conversion business. Yeah, we work really well together. She keeps me organized and my space clean and gives me great ideas. Um, she makes me laugh all day long. So when we go out and we can work together as a team and help someone on a build, we can sit with our bus and park somewhere and give them my knowledge and my skills that you see on the bus. M. If you want to get in touch with us, you can check out our Instagram crown around. I'm sure she'll be featured somewhere in the link in this video. Other than that, yeah, Instagram, man, cheers, let us know. Join the Nomad family.